So you think watermelon, you think mild and sweet, but we're going to change that. This morning, we'll actually use it in a spicy cocktail and you can make it at home. Yeah, now Tim Tui is here with the Kansas City Canning Company to start Friday with the kick. Now, believe it or not, this is the second time this week we have had kind of a watermelon spice mm -hmm. kind of mm -hmm. flavor. So I'm actually kind of curious what we're doing here today. Uh, first, I know you're using, uh, this is tequila, but there's also a difference between tequila and mezcal. Yeah, so kind normally if I'm doing this at home, I like to use a mezcal. Mm -hmm. And the difference is it's like a, so if you think about scotch, scotch is to whiskey as mezcal is to, to tequila. Okay. It's smokier, it's gonna add an extra layer of flavor and is it just a little bit deeper amount of flavor to whatever cocktail you're making. So just kind of, you, do you like it, just in your personal opinion, do you like using mezcal more than tequila? In my personal opinion, yeah. yes. So that you're the second person that's been on that show that's mentioned it. Melissa from over at Port Fonda down oh, sure. in Westport, she loves mezcal and usually when she comes on, it usually makes a cocktail or two with, with mezcal. Oh yeah, absolutely. Definitely prefers it over tequila. Um, so. Yeah, like I said, it, it just, it's just gonna add a little bit more flavor. Okay. And it's, a del it's a delight. Excellent, so how are you getting started here? We just put some, uh, so it looks like you got a little so, bit of spices yeah, there on the rim so of the glass. So we have a, a salt rimmed glass with, um, like I said, salt, and this has a, uh, it's a flour blend, a dried flour blend. Uh, it's gonna add a little bit extra flavor to the cocktail as you, okay. as you sip it. And what we're doing is, we're, it's super simple. Uh, Perfect. And, that, yeah, and, and that's, <laughs> this is the idea behind the shrubs. Yeah. Um, quick and easy way to make a cocktail at home. Okay. So we're just gonna add our watermelon habanero shrub, Watermelon habanero. So habanero, that's that pepper on the, that's, that's the Scoville scale that you use to measure hotness. Now, ha, is habanero hotter than like jalapeno? Yes. Oh, okay. Yep. So, yeah, no messing, <laughs> ar no messing around here. Okay. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do about two ounces of shrub, about two ounces of the tequila. Wasn't wasn't a light pour there. <laughs> no, no, because you know it's nine o'clock in the morning. Let's it's, let's just get right it's into it. It's five o'clock somewhere, Tim. You know. <laughs> so so um, besides that, you guys also have some other products that we can use around the bar as well. So uh, what is it? Your shrubs that you guys have? That's what we use to flavor different drinks with. What yes. other flavors of those do you guys have at Kansas so City Canning Company? Our probably our most popular is the blood orange ginger shrub. Oh yeah. Uh, and then we do a Meyer lemon lavender, and oh, it's gonna be tricky. Uh oh. Got him. See, we should have had the. Uh, one of those shakers or something, right? Shoulda, coulda, woulda, Bill. But you know what? You're a, you're a, a renaissance man and just taking care of it with whatever we have here, right? <laughs> exactly. So I still enjoy it. I've, now, a couple of the other things you brought along here too. I, the, are these the, is that the asparagus or is that so green beans? So sriracha pickle green beans. Yes, and those are Sriracha pickle green beans, they go really nice. Our Bloody Mary mix, which mm -hmm. actually, you'll be able to find the watermelon habanero shrub and our Bloody Mary mix in all of the crate and barrels across these United States coming oh, wow. in the, the spring of this year. Awesome, well congratulations um, about that, that's very thank cool. Thank you, yeah, super, super, super cool. Um, but we use the brine from the green beans in the Bloody Mary mix, so they're a, a natural pairing. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then what do you have up here? Is this, I don't so remember this our, one from last time. That is our the marmalade? Clementine Thyme Marmalade, yes. Okay. Um, that you can find at the Boulevard Beer Hall. Okay. Uh, they use that on all of their, their meat and cheese plates. Awesome. Yeah. So besides Crate and Barrel and Boulevard Beer Hall, if we want to check you guys out, where can we go to, to try some samples or to, or to get something for some friends? Uh, I would suggest check out the, uh, if you haven't been to the Maiden KC Marketplace on the mm -hmm. plaza, uh, it's a great spot. We have a little booth in there. All the Maiden KC stores, the better cheddar. Um, yeah, we have up, upwards of 50 stores at this point. Awesome. Yeah. Well, very cool, Tim. Absolutely. Congratulations on all your success. I mean, you Thank guys you. are kind of yeah. come from here. You go I'm, ahead and I'm have gonna that. I'm going to get into this one. We'll just cheers here. So, Solid. cheers. Over to you, Belinda.